made it back. Yeah, we did. And what a week we had. Now, this is our kind of recap time coming back from the Galapagos Islands. And we are back in Quito, Ecuador mm -hmm. at a very nice hotel waiting for our flight back out to the U.S. And right. so it seems like a good time, all things are fresh in our mind, to, to share a little bit of the highlights of this trip that we took with Celebrity Cruises uh, that included Quito mm -hmm. and a week on the Celebrity Flora. Yeah, let's talk about it. Well, welcome back to the channel. I'm Terry with Next Wave Cruising. I'm Rich with Next Wave Cruising. And as we mentioned, we have just come back from a week on the Celebrity Flora, all sweet ship with some amazing celebrity team members who took us all around the Galapagos Islands. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, every step of the way, they just, uh, celebrity did not skip a beat. It was amazing. No. I mean, it started, and, and we have a little bit of video from our downtown hotel when we were at the JW Marriott when we got in, and mm -hmm. we uh, were able to have a nice city tour hosted by Celebrity, some nice meals both right. in the hotel and out, and then they chartered a flight to take us, you know, over, and they made everything easy, didn't well, they? they? Here's did. your boarding pass at the hotel, oh, and here's absolutely. your room key, and you never had to stand in a line. Right. Or, so. that, that they do have treats when you first get there, and we had a group of 28 people with us and that is more than they are used to as a group yes. on celebrity floor as you know they hold 100 passengers when they're full right and so a group would typically be many many less people sure. on a ship that size right so we were about a third of the population of that know? of that ship and they yeah. took such great care of such a they, huge group um, they made us feel so special. They did. They did it like they do it every single week. And, and in a way they do, but not with a group like that. They had to really do some special things for us, and they did. They did. They did make everybody feel special and included. And it just took a really amazing vacation and elevated it even right. further. Absolutely. So what are some of your highlights from actually being over in the Galapagos? What well, stood out to it, you? The, it, I don't know how you pick, but it's, we'll try. <laughs> I mean, um, first of all, the ship is absolutely gorgeous that you'll be able to see. and uh, But the, the islands that they took you to, now every single place that you went to, you had a tender to. So, you know, you have to, you know, think about that. Uh, you know, do it now while you can, because it can be a little difficult. Uh, getting on and off some of these islands, uh, uh, some of them are very easy, some of them are right. a little tricky. Right. Uh, but, you know, we had people from all ages. We had a person on there that was... 91 years old. And she was doing she a fantastic job. Probably doing better than a lot of us. Right. But I think there were people of also a number of different abilities, mm -hmm. but with mobility. You have right. to be able to be, you know, walking on uneven surfaces right. and kind of climbing up out of the tender at times and reaching out. And the thing is that celebrity makes it as specialized as to what everybody needs as possible. Mm -hmm. If if the terrain is too much, you stay in the tender. Right. And they'll still mm -hmm. take you to the shoreline and make sure you get the that benefit get of that day's right. learnings and viewings. And I thought they did a lot of flexible things to mm -hmm. help everybody on that ship, all, all right. 95 people are sure. like, uh, to have a really I, great time. I think when you were talking about what was you know something special about it, and I think uh, that really, uh, one of the things you said reminded me that these naturalists aside from the ah, all yes. of the all of the beautiful animals that you're going to see and photograph uh, the naturalists really are educated naturalists there was not anything that anyone could ask about the animals about the the islands about the vegetation the history the history that they okay. did not have the answer to. It's not like somebody, you're on a tour in Rome, and they're going, okay, everybody this way, and you listen to it through it. No, these people know their stuff. And they are so personable, mm -hmm. friendly, fun. Yep. Um, and it was great. And being able to go out in such small groups. Right. We were often somewhere between 8 and 12 people. Right doing a particular activity mm -hmm. and they can flex and they do flex um, depending on the group that they have in a given week right. in terms of who wants to walk, who wants to kayak, who wants to snorkel, right. who wants to stay on that tender boat and do sort of a tour from the water. Mm -hmm. They really did an amazing job of really bringing everything right to their audience this oh, week, yeah. to their travelers this week. Absolutely. They knew you by name so quickly. Almost, almost like the by the end of the first day uh, at dinner, they were they were uh, greeting you by greeting your you by your name. It's just amazing, right? Yeah. And the servers on the ship mm -hmm. uh, were equally attentive, mm -hmm. well, 
you know, prepared for their roles and right. a lot of fun. Right. Um, it was kind of neat to come back every day to the ship from the tenders, and you always did tender, as you mentioned. Right. Um, and the hotel director's waiting for you, and the maitre d's waiting for you, mm-hmm. and the head chef is checking you in. Right. And and the cruise director, of course, she's there to, mm-hmm. to bring you back on board, and it's just yeah. every single person at every level, the captain. The captain was there. Out there. Right. Here, I'll take your life jacket and yeah. come on in. And they always had treats for you when you got back mm-hmm. and made every single day different right. than the day before. And to right. me, that was one of the things I wasn't sure about. But mm-hmm. a highlight for me was just how much every day added and layered on to what we had done before. Right. It didn't feel repetitive. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw or experienced something different right. every single time we got off the ship. Yep. And then when we got back on the ship, we wished we just had more time. The Celebrity Flora is amazing. What a beautiful ship. And, and it's just... Not to be missed. It's just the right size. Uh, there's, you know, like you, you mentioned, about 100 passengers maximum on that. Every, every room is a, a, a suite or above. Um, yeah, and they start with Sky Suites. They start with Sky Suite. And, they have Royal and, Suites and a penthouse. Right. Some larger and suites. It was it, the, the ship is just perfect. They have, uh, uh, there's no specialty dining. Uh, there's, well, there is in a way, isn't in a there? Way, yeah, there is. There is you know? so, but uh, uh, everything about it, uh, the ship is fairly new. Yes. And, the, and it shows. Uh, the, the maintenance on it is just fantastic. So I would say if somebody's thinking about the Galapagos Island and saying, you know what, that's on my bucket list. It's time to move that to your to-do list. Or your book it list. That's right. Book it and do it list. Do it while you can. It is an active vacation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a sit around and lounge vacation. There's plenty of time for that downtime. You do. But to get the most out of this, you want to be out and experiencing everything. And it's, it's so unique and a remarkable destination. Right. Do it while you can. Do it with friends. Like the fact that we went with 28 of our friends and friends of friends, we had a blast. Yes. And a lot of that had to do with the interaction of all the people having Mm -hmm. such a good time together. And if you don't, the people on there, everybody was, we ended up knowing everybody on the ship anyways. It was was people from all over the world that were on that ship. So it was fun to interact with them and to meet them and, and, uh, and having a great time with everybody on the ship that's right and then when you're done with that week of just amazement being in the galapagos uh, you take another charter flight back it's just the people from our ship right uh, with a host from celebrity on the airplane with you right and they bring you back to quito and because of the time difference about when you get back in the afternoon and when most flights head out to the u.s you you can spend one more night some Mm -hmm. people spend two more nights right here and other people split off and headed to lima peru for Mm -hmm. the machu picchu extension right now we're not doing that so we won't report on that directly Directly, but there were a good number of people from our our crews who went in that direction, and I'm sure they're going to have an amazing four days right. heading into Peru. Mm-hmm. But for the rest of us, we came back to Quito, and if you have an earlier flight, rather than take you all the way back downtown, um, Celebrity has another arrangement with a high quality, beautiful hotel. Where we're, we're sitting right, right now. now. Yep. Right. The EB Hotel, which is Euro Building Hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, you may have seen one if you've been in Miami, but they have one here in Quito, Ecuador, right near the airport. Mm-hmm. It couldn't have been ten minutes. Maybe? It may be a 10 minute maybe drive, 10 but minutes. you will not be disappointed in no. this hotel. The food we had dinner here last night was, was just nice. great. Uh, they have very good bartenders, in you, case you want. You enjoyed that. You know? So and we had a lovely breakfast this we morning. We had a great breakfast. Nice, uh, you know, kind of laid right. out buffet, mm-hmm. and they're making omelets and right. you know a lot of high high end touches. The rooms are a little more European and modern, a little right. different style but than it, the JW. Equally nice. They're just gorgeous. Really fantastic. Yeah. And then there's someone here from Celebrity to take care of your transfers again, right. to get you back and forth to the airport. So I think the the point of, of where Celebrity comes in is they really take this and put a bow around it for you so you they can do. focus on your vacation. Exactly. You don't have to worry about, there's a lot of paperwork to get onto the Galapagos. They handle it. Yeah. There's a lot of little intricate little uh, details. They handle it. They make sure that your transfers are there. They make sure there's always somebody available to you. What a way to go. And there are three celebrity ships here in the Galapagos. So depending on someone's timing, which itinerary they like, and even their price point, you may want to go on the floor, which is just amazing. Mm -hmm. But there are additional ships, Exploration, Expedition, and these are all very, very well suited 
for you to have a great time in, in the Galapagos as well. And there are some other companies, including the sister company, Silversea, who's yeah, out here. We saw them out there. We did, and we see a number of other ships. And so depending on who your favorite expedition cruise line is, don't hesitate to reach out and let us know what would make the right Galapagos connection for you. Yep. But I can tell you, just get here. Just find a way, put it on your list, and make it a must-do. Book it vacation. Absolutely. It is definitely worth it. And we'd love to answer any questions that you have and help you plan your Galapagos trip in the not very distant future. So reach out to Next Wave Cruising. Our information is right below. And if you're finding value in this video, we would ask you to give this a thumbs up, which we greatly appreciate. And it helps everyone to understand through the YouTube algorithm where else the video can be shared with other cruisers who enjoy these adventures that we're all having. And if you haven't already, it'll be a great time to subscribe. Give yourself a gift for the holidays. Subscribe. <laughs> Is it yeah. free? It's okay. it's still free uh, through the end of the year. It's still yeah. free. And, and maybe even after and, that. And <laughs> the end of next year. And you know, So, yeah. But turn on notifications, too. So subscribe and turn on notifications. And that lets you know every time we post a new video to the channel and lets you see where we're heading next in terms of our cruising mm -hmm. adventures. And we have a whole bunch of them coming up again in 2023. Right. But uh, this has been a great way to capstone the year. Mm -hmm. We definitely recommend it. I, I can't think of a, a missing link or element of anything that that went on as we planned and then right. traveled on this spectacular trip. We'd love to share that with you. And if you're finding this video first, we have some additional videos yes. in our series from this trip, don't right. we? We do, and it gives, goes into a little bit more detail about what we did and how much fun we had. So don't miss those. And before you leave, I have a little more to share with you. So check the video in the upper right-hand corner, and I'll see you over there. Bye now. Bye.